Hello everyone and welcome back to AWS Simplified. This week has been a very exciting week for cloud enthusiasts like myself because it's reInvent week. For those of you that aren't aware, reInvent is the annual gathering where industry titans like Andy Jassy, who's the CEO of Amazon Web Services, announce all the cool products and features AWS has been working on throughout the year. This year was similar to others in that we heard about some major product announcements and some enhancements to existing services. Today I'm going to be highlighting the top three announcements that I'm most excited about and just can't wait to get my hands on. So here we go with number one. My first on the list is Code Guru. Code Guru is a new product that uses machine learning to automate code reviews for developers. The system uses best practices based on data sets the company has gathered from within Amazon itself. In addition to helping you conform to standards and conventions, the product helps find hidden bugs within your code itself. It also proactively identifies area for potential improvement, such as the presence of race conditions, resource leaks, and wasteful usage of CPU cycles. Even more impressive is that not only does it identify these problems, but gives you specific recommendations on how to fix them. As Amazon puts it, it's like having a distinguished engineer on call 24-7. CodeGuru is separated out into two features, Code Reviewer and Profiler. Code Reviewer is the automated review process that can be easily hooked into code repositories on GitHub or AWS Code Commit, so that it can be triggered as part of any pull request and scan your code automatically. Unfortunately, I find the price structure to be a little steep here, especially if you have a very large project with many developers. The current pricing model is $0.75 cents per 100 lines of code scanned per month. If you have projects that run into hundreds of thousands, if not millions of lines of code, you can see this cost can quickly get out of control. Profiler is the secondary tool that runs alongside your application to identify runtime characteristics that are eating up resources. The cost structure here is much more reasonable at a fraction of a penny per hour, so it's very, very worth it in my opinion. CodeGuru isn't all rainbows though. Unfortunately, it's only offered for the Java programming language, but I expect this to expand to other popular languages as time goes on. Second on my list is Amazon Builders Library. Amazon is world renowned for solving some of the most technically difficult problems in cloud computing. With AWS Builders Library, Amazon is making some of these learnings publicly available for us all to read. The hub currently contains a dozen or so articles written by senior Amazon engineers highlighting their approaches to the fundamental underpinnings of challenges surrounding cloud computing. Articles fit into three different categories, the first being high level, which discusses problems without providing too much technical depth, the second being intermediate level, which is a bit more detailed, and the third being deep dive, which extensively explains the technical details of the problem and the approach used to solve it. Reading these articles, you can learn about topics prevalent in distributed systems, such as leader election problems, caching strategies, health checks, and many more. Reading several of these articles already, I have to say they're extremely well written and easy for most people to understand, with very little knowledge in the domain being discussed. The articles typically contain animations and visual aids to help understand problems that are difficult to conceptualize. If you're interested in learning how cloud computing systems work behind the hood and some of the challenges faced, I highly suggest spending some time reading these articles. Currently, there's about a dozen or so articles available, but AWS will be adding new content to Builder's Library regularly, so be sure to check it out. Third, and certainly not least, is Amazon Bracket. Amazon Bracket is AWS's entrance into the world of quantum computing. For those of you that are unfamiliar with quantum computing, it is a fundamental shift in the way computers operate. In classic computers, data is represented via bits that operate in an on or off state. Quantum computers use a different approach to represent data, using a data type called qubits that can simultaneously occupy multiple states. This property unlocks some incredible potential that allows us to solve some previously thought to be unsolvable problems due to the sheer volume of required computations. Quantum computing is particularly useful in areas such as cryptography, fluid dynamics, weather forecasting models, and many, many other applications. With Amazon Bracket, developers can use an interactive notebook-style application that lets you build and test algorithms using qubits and quantum circuits. You can tinker with these concepts in a sandbox environment before actually running them on a quantum computer. This is an extremely exciting announcement due to not only the potential of quantum computers, but the work AWS is doing to make this technology available to the masses. Although this product is not publicly available to all yet, and the cost structure hasn't been discussed, it's truly a revolutionary achievement in terms of pushing technological innovation forward. 
If you enjoyed this video, I have many more discussing various AWS technologies, including walkthroughs and conceptual discussions, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.